My name is Sam, Sam Sheffer. I'm from Salvona Technologies. Uh, we are located here in New Jersey, which is south to Manhattan and uh, on the east side of USA. Um, we are in business for about 25 years and our agenda is to develop and market technologies only for skincare, topical applications only. So um, what we will do today is um, I'm going to share with you some new information about new product and I'm going to share with you some um, other information that I think would be useful and would be extremely practical for your future work. The first thing that always is needed is to understand who is Salvona, what do we do, how do we do, why do we do, and the bottom line is how does it help you? Um, our agenda is to help you to get uh, to the market better product that are more scientifically designed and also contain some advanced technologies. And you will see this is my story all along this webinar is the combination of how to take science directly from research laboratories combine it with a delivery technology and the combination of understanding from the scientific point of view, how does the skin work? What is the physiology of the skin? On one hand, on the other hand, creating a delivery system that can activate and change the uh, appearance of the skin uh, and to maintain a younger looking skin. So if you just join us now, uh, about 10 minutes late, please write down your name in the chat and continue to follow up on the chat. So uh, let's start our uh, actual presentation and move forward. So the purpose of uh, this 30 minutes, and I'm going to talk only about 30, 35 minutes. Now it's uh, a few minutes late. I waited for the people to join. Uh, and then I will open the microphone. We can have about 30 minutes of questions and answers. So you are invited to ask questions. You don't have to put your name on this. I will try to answer as we go forward. Is anything it's not 100% clear, please let me know. I will be happy to address. So question at the end will be addressed. Thank you very much for that. So let's start by, first of all, I want to clarify something very basic, but I'm not sure it's always clear. What is the difference between encapsulation and delivery systems? There is a major difference and I want to clarify this because if you understand the value of delivery systems, then you will be able to use it and utilize it in your business. If you don't, you think that, that all things are the same and they are not the same. Okay, so we will clarify what is the difference and why you should look into delivery systems rather than just encapsulation. However, delivery systems are kind of encapsulation, but more intelligent systems. We will clarify this point. The second part, I would like to focus on a new technology, uh, part of our new agenda to come up with clean beauty. Clean beauty means that we are conscious about the safety of the materials that we use, the process that we use, and the concern about the environment. Salvona have gone through a change to become climate neutral, which means all the energy that we utilize coming from solar energy, we recycle the water, we use only biodegradable materials, and everything that we use is recyclable. So uh, we took this unique step. We are probably one of the unique companies that provide um, materials to the industry that are totally uh, climate neutral. And I want to bring it to your attention because now you can also claim climate neutral ingredients into your products. So uh, we will talk about natural anti-aging and, uh, and let's hit the road about these two items today. Um, before I start to show you what is our uh, delivery systems, you may be familiar with this. So it's a very short review, mostly to the people that are not familiar. 
And so uh, encapsulation in general is something neutral, natural. Nature has created encapsulation. We're just trying to imitate it. So that's all we are trying. We're trying to recreate it to benefit our process. So pay attention, Salvona or other companies, we did not create encapsulation. Our body using cells and in the cells, we encapsulate the DNA mitochondria and other organelles. So the same way that our body is constructed, this is what we try to do with the ingredients that we use for skincare. Typical ingredients that we use are coming from botanical sources. And by extracting them, we expose them to oxygen and let them oxidize and basically breaking them down, degrade them. The encapsulation comes in to protect so we don't break them and we can maintain their potency. So when we use it on the skin, we get the full benefit of these ingredients. So the major benefit is always the stability, retaining the potency. Along the way, there are other benefits also for the formulators, which I mentioned, but bottom line, the benefit comes to the consumer. The consumer can get a very potent product. Okay, delivery system are in general, they are polymeric system and they have a chemistry, a unique chemistry and intelligent chemistry that is able to differentiate when the particle, the sphere, the, what we call the microsphere is in the product, in the, in the container compared to when it is on the skin. So you may ask how the product knows when to release the active. This is the intelligent system. This is a delivery system. Encapsulation is just means that it is encapsulated. It doesn't mean anything about how it's going to be delivered or when it's going to be delivered. What we do is delivery system that contain the special chemical technology, the chemical intelligence that make the system sense that it's skin, that you rub it in, and now it should be released. Uh, Salvona doesn't have one technology, but multiple technology because there is no one unique solution. So we have technologies like Salsphere, Hydrosal, Multisal, and so on. Um, the technologies have tremendous benefit to the formulator. The formulator already get a bunch of ingredients that were tested and known in the literature to their benefit. The technology allows to easy to formulate because you can put them, it was tested already in multiple kinds of bases. So it would give you easy, homo homogeneous, um, stable solution. It's also benefit for the manufacturing because it's so easy to formulate with and to produce with less step is more saving of money and time. And ultimately the major benefit comes to the consumer who can see the results much faster than in any other way. So um, with this uh, background, um, I would like to uh, come and show you a short video uh, which you can get separately from this presentation and you can watch it in this and other opportunities that you have in mind. Okay, and here it is. Please let me know if you can. Nature invented encapsulation for organelles and ingredients in tiny compartments such as cells. Encapsulation technology is a method of enclosing functional active ingredients into miniature spheres. When we extract the ingredients from plant parts, we expose them and accelerate their oxidation and degradation. Encapsulation is a process to retain and preserve the extracted ingredients. Salvona's encapsulation technologies are offer more than just encapsulation. They are delivery systems. Delivery systems are designed to control the release of the active ingredients from the microspheres in a smart manner. These are intelligent polymeric systems that allow the release of the encapsulated ingredients 
when applied onto the skin in a controlled manner. When needed, the system can enhance the delivery into deeper layers of the skin where the ingredients are needed the most in order to evoke, repair, and rejuvenate anti-aging processes. Salvonas encapsulation systems refer to a range of microscopic dosage forms, some in form of solid fine powders and others semi-solid appear in a liquid phase. Salsphere and hydrosal are available as liquid and can be used in milky or clear forms of wash, lotion, and serums. Multisal microspheres appear as fine solid powder and can be used for both liquid and solid forms of finished products. Salvona's proprietary small delivery systems are used to benefit both formulation chemists and consumers. Chemists can save time and energy due to the unique features of the microspheres that can accelerate formulation and production processes. As the technologies are able to enhance solubility, compatibility, and stability. On the other hand, consumers benefit from potent ingredients, sustained delivery patterns that suits the ability of the skin to absorb the ingredients without causing irritation. The smart system can release when activated, such as by rubbing. The guided delivery can enhance bioavailability at the deeper layers of the skin where they are needed the most. Overall, these technologies are designed for skincare products with a purpose to benefit consumers with safe and fast visual results. Salvona's Clean Beauty encapsulated delivery systems are mindfully created, considering the health of our bodies and the environment. Okay, now you learned about uh, Salvona's technologies and uh, uh, we can Nature. We can uh, actually move on and just uh, to recap a couple of things from the short video of items that are not included. For example, um, the major benefit of these technologies, one of them is the extended shelf life. The active can be stable uh, and some of the active can be stable for much longer. So when we talk about stability, we talk about two aspects. One is the raw material can uh, save, can be uh, stable for longer time, and also in the package, in the finished formula, which means that you can order a larger volume and just use it over time, and you can save a lot of money. Um, the technology has this feature that's called the nose. The nose, which means how does it know? How does it know the difference between being in the lotion and being on the skin? Uh, we will talk about this in the future. Uh, we cannot go into much details now, but there is an intelligence building uh, to give it. Now, another major aspect that one should understand about uh, technologies for skincare that are totally different from drug delivery, for example. In skincare, the, the technology has to be very nice to the skin, aesthetically pleasing, cannot be greedy, for example. And that's what makes Salvona's uh, technology special. They are very nice, aesthetically pleasing on the skin. And the major thing that behind the time release is that it is useful for consumers with sensitive skin because you don't dump all the ingredients at once onto the skin you do it gradually. When you do it gradually, the skin is able to buffer. And when it can buffer it, then the effect is not so harsh. That's why if you want to make a product that's stable, that potent, that will not irritate, you need a delivery system uh, in order to, to get uh, complaints and uh, uh, issues with harshness, irritation, dryness of the skin. So um, this is the point. 
Another aspect that uh, we did not discuss in the short video is because it's able to penetrate into the skin, it can get the ingredients to the lower layers of the skin, not to the blood, just to the skin. And that means that you will see the benefit much shorter. So if it comes to brightening, for example, wrinkle treatment, firming of the skin, you will see the effect much faster. Overall, it has to be very safe, has to be biodegradable, and has to be trendy. And this is what we are offering. Um, the major benefit of uh, delivery system, beside the technical aspect, is the marketing aspect. Um, we uh, chemists typically don't pay attention to this, but this is one of the most important uh, properties when you develop product for cosmetic skincare industry is the story. Um, the product has to be standing out, unique, and you need a good story to make it stand out. Just to say, oh, I have a new uh, raw material may not be enough to make the competition win. Uh, if you want to win, you have to get more than just the active. And many of our customers are really using the technology as a marketing story. And the story is a lot and it's very important because that's what we're talking about in the magazines, in the advertisement and so on. Uh, the other aspect is uh, trendiness and the trend today is to use natural, sustainable resources. And that's what we are offering. So everything has to be safe to the body and to the environment. Now, I would like to bring you back to the reality of things. And I know that you are familiar with encapsulation. You heard liposomes before, and you probably ask yourself, so what's the benefit of the new technology, cell sphere or multi-cell, whatever I mentioned before, and whatever we may be using or we heard of, which are the liposomes. The liposome is a technology that may be 100 years old. Many companies today are not using liposomes because they didn't see the benefit. So let's just review what is the liposome system and what makes it different. So liposome is based on a bilayer, you see this is two layers combined, where the inside is uh, actually uh, lipids and the outside are the phosphates. So it's phospholipids. Uh, the system inside is accommodating hydrophilic water-based materials and inside lipophilic oil-based materials. The ability to accommodate uh, is very, very limited in a traditional liposome. Okay, so this is the volume that's available for water-based material and a very limited between the phospholipid for lipophilic oil-based material. For example, if you want to encapsulate an oil like um, a jojoba oil, then you can encapsulate very little inside here. If you want to encapsulate water base like vitamin C, then you may be able to encapsulate here. Okay, now what's the difference with a cell sphere? You see the size is almost the same, but the capacity to encapsulate both hydrophilic and hydrophobic are tremendously higher. Um, and this system is solid. This system is fragile. It can break down easily with mixing and then you don't see the benefit of encapsulation in terms of stability, penetration, long lasting, and so on. In this case, the matrix that holds the active ingredients is solid. Why I'm emphasizing it? Because when you have a solid system, you can lock the ingredients inside and control the release. If it's fragile, it's easily break down and you lose the benefit of the encapsulation. The other uh, interesting point is the surface. The surface of cell sphere has another polymer and this polymer allows to suspend the particles and to enhance the adhesion to the skin. Why it's so important? Because it will give you a long lasting release only if it's able to stick 
to adhere to the skin. If first it stick to the skin, then it can slowly release. Now, why it's important to slow release? Number one is to reduce irritation. We talked about the fact that most of the product today without encapsulation, it's like you dump all the active at once on the skin. The skin may have a hard time to accommodate this. And therefore there is a response of the skin like dryness, redness. So to avoid this, you need a delivery system with time release function, number one. Number two, in some cases like whitening, wrinkles, it's all processes that are initiated by enzymes. In order to produce the enzyme, there must be a long lasting contact time between the active ingredients and the skin. So we need the long contact time to activate the DNA to produce the proteins, the enzymes that are needed for the repair of the skin. If you don't give the long lasting benefit, then the cell will not understand what do you want? What do you want? It's like you knock on the door and you run away. Instead of knocking on the door again and again until somebody comes and open the door. So this is the story. You need to knock on the door and knock on the door until somebody in the house hears and comes down from let's say the third floor and opens the door for you. So this is exactly why you need a longer lasting benefit. So I hope I explained this issue. I know that um, some of you asked me before about this uh, and I uh, thank you for the opportunity Salvonas. to uh, explain it. Okay, so I would like, uh, if you have any question about this part of encapsulation and delivery system, the benefits, why you should use, how you should use, please ask me on the chat and let's move on to a uh, Sunsphere Natural Anti-Aging. This is a new technology. First, I will introduce the technology that is based on, um, and on polyphenols, natural materials. It's all naturally made. Uh, polyphenols are not stable, as you know. Um, for example, tea. Uh, you start with a green tea, which is almost clear. Over time, it's become dark. That means it's oxidized. Imagine that you bite into an apple. You wait a few minutes and you see how the color of the apple changes into more dark uh, color. So that is all results of oxidation. How we can protect it is by encapsulation. And this is the purpose of this video. So please watch it for three minutes and then I will explain it a little bit better. Southfield Natural Anti-Aging is a new technology designed to address the issues of saggy skin with reduced elasticity and firmness. Elasticity is the skin's ability to stretch and snap back to its original shape to keep a youthful appearance. Scientists proposed that the accumulation of advanced glycation end products, age, is a major reason to reduce the elasticity. Age products are formed by glycation, a non-enzymatic reaction between protein fibers such as collagen and elastin and reducing sugars. Continuous oxidation stress, such as overexposure to sun, enhances the formation of age structures. This is a diagram of the skin structure. The top layer is the epidermis and below it is the dermis. The dermis is made up of fibrous and elastic tissue. It provides strength and flexibility to the skin. The two major fibers are collagen represented in brown color and elastin fibers in green. The age product can accumulate within the fibers and can reduce the flexibility and elasticity of the skin. In addition, the age product can cause inflammation deep in the skin that can affect the appearance of the skin. Southfield Natural Anti-Aging is an advanced raw material made out of all natural ingredients and utilizes Salvona's proprietary technology. The main purpose of this technology is to inhibit and reverse 
the formation of age structures with better use of natural potent polyphenols antioxidants. We choose to use polyphenols extracted from grapes and apples based on established scientific data. The encapsulation technology is used to protect the potency of the extract and allow efficient delivery to the deeper layers of the skin. These polyphenols, resveratrol and procyanidin, are powerful and characterized with high ORAC values. Procyanidin from apple has a 10 times higher antioxidant potency compared to vitamin C. Encapsulation of polyphenols in South Sphere Natural Anti-Aging provides three major benefits. Stability, enhanced efficacy through time release and improved bioavailability, and formulation ready. Apple juice is a good example to demonstrate how natural antioxidants get oxidized and discolor. Some sphere natural anti-aging exhibit significant color stability compared to the free. Apple extract is a very water-soluble and therefore tends not to penetrate into the skin. Skin testing have shown us that some sphere natural anti-aging enhances the residence time of polyphenols at the deeper layer of the skin. Free resveratrol is water insoluble, but some sphere enables to disperse resveratrol into a homogeneous, ready to use suspension. Some sphere natural anti aging is a proprietary sub microsphere technology made with natural ingredients, China compliant. PG and PPG free. This technology helps to repair skin elasticity, tone and revitalize the skin from wash off and leave on formulations. Several non-commercial lines already adapted the use of anti-age product. Don't hesitate to use Sunsphere Natural Anti-Aging into your creation. Okay, so in order to Salvonas in order to uh, simplify what you saw. And I put it in a video form because now I can send it, share it to you. Uh, if you ask for the video, please uh, use my contact on uh, the website and I will be happy to send you the link uh, to this webinar and to this spe special video. So what's happening in my webinars is that there is a lot of information and sometimes it's really difficult to get all the information together. But I only want to trigger you to think about this. And I'm sure one day um, when you need it, you will be able to utilize it. So what we're trying to address in this issue is saggy skin. Saggy skin is wrinkles, is when the skin is really not tight and firm on the skin. This is a sign of aging. This is what we're trying to address. I know that aging has multiple signs. This is one, okay? But we try to focus on one, but also address the other aspect of aging, such as toning, discoloring, wrinkles, and so on. But the focus here is firming, saggy skin. And there is no good solution for saggy skin especially when people get older, like 40, 45 years old, you can start to see this effect that the skin is not exactly as it was 20 years before, <laughs> right? So you're familiar with this. So uh, now what you see in this video is how we analyze the science of why it's happening first. What is the reason why the skin becomes so loose? What is the reason why we have wrinkles, why the skin looks aged? So the one of the reason is the accumulation of age product. What is age? Age is a reaction, a covalent, not enzymatic, a covalent rea reaction between glucose and proteins such as collagen, elastin. The product is a reaction, the glycation reaction, it's called the glycation, you can hear the glucose. 
So, so all excess of sugar over a long time produces this product. Why I emphasize that it's covalent? Because it cannot easily break down. So it's like stone. And this stone reduces the flexibility of the skin. And because of this, we start to see wrinkles, we start to see saggy skin. This is the logic behind. Now, the question is how we address it um, and what do we do to protect ourselves? We know that exposure to sun can accelerate it, okay? Accelerate the process of forming age product. What can help us, of course, is uh, anything to do with not exposing ourselves to the sun. The other aspect is to use polyphenols. Uh, science studied different type of polyphenols and they come up to two polyphenols, resveratrol and procyanidin. They are extracted from grapes and apple. But when you try to use them, we have technical problem. Resveratrol is not soluble in water, so you cannot use it. Uh, you need to solubilize it. How do you do that? We don't want to use alcohol. You can use alcohol. We don't. So we need a technology to give us a solution. Uh, apple extract, you know, from apple juice, that apple juice is water soluble. And you know also that water soluble ingredients cannot penetrate the skin. How do we know that? Very simple. When we go to swim, water will not penetrate our skin because if it would, our body would swell, okay? So our body does not swell. We have good barrier properties and water-based molecules cannot penetrate. Yes, everything that you put on a water-based formula stays on top of the skin. Very, very little can penetrate inside the skin and get the benefit. In order to make it get inside, you need a delivery system that helps you with the penetration. So that's why we use the technology that's called Salsphere, natural anti-aging. So polyphenols are not stable, they're very potent. You see that a polyphenol uh, like apple extract is about 10 times stronger than vitamin C. So I don't know why people stick to vitamin C, but resveratrol and other polyphenols are stronger, much stronger than vitamin C. Therefore, they are more sensitive and get oxidized in this color like vitamin C. So they all need to be stabilized. They all need to be able to penetrate to the deeper layers of the skin. And this is what the technology is doing. If you use the polyphenols without the encapsulation, you're practically wasting the money because it cannot do what it's supposed to do. So this is the whole idea of encapsulating polyphenols, making it stable, penetrable, and uh, more effective. So this is the uh, background about the short video and the development of this product. Uh, what I wanted to demonstrate to you in this short webinar is how we combine basic science with technology. So the whole science of age product was developed and clarified over maybe only the last 10 years. And what we did is we found out the problem with using, after our understanding, and after we know that there is a solution and we want to further um, uh, provide the solution, we need a technology. And this is the submicron encapsulation system that provide the technology. It's called Salsphere technology. It's an ideal solution uh, to load potent ingredients. Uh, it is an ideal solution to uh, adhere it to the skin, which is a prerequisite to long time delivery and to deliver it into the deeper layers of the skin. So this is um, how we uh, address the issue. Now, when we go back to sunsphere natural anti-aging, we have to look at this from two points of view. 
what is the immediate effect when you put it on the skin? Like what can you see after maybe five times? And what can you see after a couple of weeks of using? Like when uh, you finish to use the product, uh, what can you promise to the consumer to see? So what do we know is this, the immediate effect of Sunsphere Natural Anti-Aging is a very good moisturization for the skin. Uh, the skin definitely feels very soft, bright and hydrated. The brightening of the skin or the toning of the skin is because the use of resveratrol. Resveratrol is known to brighten the skin. So um, that's why you see this. Over time, like you use it up after four or five weeks, you can see enhanced firming, reduced wrinkles, and overall brighter and younger looking skin. And this is the benefit of using a technology rather than just dumping the ingredients inside the lotion. Okay, I hope you enjoyed so far. Uh, I would like to summarize uh, and tell you this, uh, Salvona is offering variety of skincare products. Uh, today you heard uh, about natural anti-aging. We have a variety of technologies. Our technologies are proprietary, which means we have the patent on the technology. We are the only one to manufacture it. Uh, we definitely focus on materials that are very trendy, like polyphenols, like natural, like beauty, clean and beauty, and so on that are uh, very safe uh, to the use on the skin. Uh, you can get a lot of information on our website, www.salvona.com. Our only information is open. You need maybe to register uh, so you know that you exist and uh, you can get all the information available to you on the computer anytime. If you work at home, if you work, um, uh, after hours uh, and you're investigating an issue, you want to know what ink we use, what not, whether it's approved in China or approved in other countries, uh, you can get it very easily. Everything is available. Now, because of Corona, of course, we cannot meet with you and serve you directly, but we are offering a special service and we are very unique about this. You go to the website at the addition of Connect, and you can connect directly with me. You can get my calendar and you see when I'm available and then you can schedule a meeting, a Zoom meeting, and I will be there to talk to you. If you don't see the time available, like you are basically on the other side of the world, send me a short email and I will open up time. Like this time, it's nine o'clock PM in, now it's a more, <clears throat> nine o'clock p.m. in U.S. <clears throat> in the east coast of the U.S. and I can arrange for a Zoom meeting to continue the conversation. So I want you to be up to date and use all possible information uh, to you. Thank you for your listening and this ends my direct presentation. It was a little bit longer than 30 minutes um, but now I have time to answer and I already saw a few good questions and I think it uh, would be very valuable to ask me. There is no, no need to be shamed, just even if you think that your English is not clear, um, just ask me and I will try to understand your question and try to un explain you. So what does it mean, Salvona, uh, Salvona Smart Delivery System? Smart Delivery System means that there is a built-in intelligence into the unit. For example, I give you examples that I didn't talk about this in order to expand a little bit the understanding. Uh, technology such as Multisal is microspheres. Multisal will only release, <clears throat> only release active ingredients when you expose it to moisture. So it's a dry product and it's un kind of understand, right? Uh, the difference between being dry and being wet. So the difference between dry and wet is triggering a system, molecular system that allows the release, like opening the door. Salsphere, for example, is sensitive to fat. 
uh, you can mix it in the solution with other fats, it will not respond. But if you rub it on the skin, it will dissolve, stick and dissolve into the fat. Uh, if you rub it on the glass, it will not release because it cannot break down into the glass. It is, uh, only breaks down when it can dissolve. It's like, you know, fat dissolve in fat and water in water. So this is fat. So this is how we make it to be uh, very unique to respond to the, to the fat, which means to respond to the skin. So uh, now, in order to get slow release, it has to adhere. And South Sphere is designed to be like dirt. If you understand me, dirt, like if you remember, if you can remember a time that um, uh, you saw a mechanics that's going to fix your car or to fix the bicycle, remember his hands are typically black and sticky. And the black is coming from carbon and it's thick because it's combined with oil. So the oil make the carbon stick. The same thing happening with sal sphere. Sal sphere is lipid, lipid fat. Okay, we don't have the carbon, so we don't see the black part, but it sticks to the skin. Now, when it sticks, it can slowly release. If it's not stick, it doesn't stick, it does not, you know, you just wash it off and then you don't have the benefit. That's why you should look into Salsphere technology when you want long lasting release, when you really want benefit, dramatic physiological benefit, you look at uh, Salsphere technology, such as if you want to treat acne, blemish, uh, of course, we talk about anti-aging sign, whitening, it's all happening deep in the skin in order to get there, you need cell sphere. If you don't use cell sphere, the material will not get there. Very simple. There is no mechanism to get there. You know, it's like sometimes you need to take a drive, a car to take you from one place to another. Uh, the same thing happening with uh, delivery of active ingredients into the skin. So uh, how long it takes? So it depends. Every person is a little bit different. The skin, the thickness is different. Around the eye, the thickness is very, the skin is very thin. The cheeks, for example, it's thicker. So it depends. Uh, we do testing on the arm. On the arm, it takes about six hours, okay? The arm is thick. Uh, and we are talking to just to get to the dermis, not below the dermis. So it is a few hours of delivery. That's the general rule. It's not immediate, a few hours. It takes almost a day sometimes. That's why we recommend to apply anti-aging product twice a day. So the morning and then at night you apply it again. Uh, we don't have a system that can work for three days, for example, okay? This is not available now. So this is about the release. This is very good questions. Uh, and again, it's only get into uh, the dermis, up to the dermis. Uh, you saw in the animation video, it could go maybe 10 layers of the epidermis and then the particle will disintegrate. As the particle disintegrate, all the active is being released. So the particle, the delivery is like a missile, a missile that carries the material inside the skin. And you need it if you really want it <clears throat> to um, see an effect on the skin. Uh, we definitely know that it doesn't penetrate through the dermis. We only know it's penetrate into the dermis. Okay. Um, now the videos, please don't ask me on this broadcast because when this broadcast ends, I don't see any of the comments here, um, but uh, there is a way um, uh, to ask me on the website or on my email. Um, how, how to mix it? Okay, how to mix it with other ingredients? It's very easy. Uh, South sphere is water suspendable. It's not soluble, it's suspendable. Okay, so do you have particles? You cannot see them. You need scanning electron microscope or you need a special device like we have to measure. It's a laser photo. Um, to measure the particles and see the particles actually. So uh, otherwise you cannot see them. They are about 10% in diameter of the hair. 
So they are very small, small enough that they can penetrate into the hair follicles, for example, uh, but we cannot see them uh, as is. They can easily mix. Now, how can you mix them? This is a very good question. So uh, you can even homogenize them, let me tell you, uh, but it's not recommended. So the typical use is this. You make your lotion, you reach the room temperature, everything you put it in, now you put your active ingredients. Now, a sans natural anti-aging could be added up to 5%. We don't recommend to use 5%. We think that 3% is sufficient as long as you use it twice a day. So let's say 3%, you add the 3% at the end and you mix it in. You don't need to homogenize it in, but you could. It will not break because they are too small to break. Okay, larger particles would break. Natural anti-aging, salsphere, will not break even if you homogenize it. So you can homogenize it. Uh, as you know, it's all natural. It's very smooth on the skin and you can feel immediately the moisturization effect when you apply it. Um, uh, I don't understand the issue with the a dried natural ingredient. So <clears throat> maybe you can uh, explain me more about this question about dry um, products. Uh, if the dry product cannot solubilize, then why you even put them in? Because if they are not soluble, they will not be bioavailable. They have to be soluble into the skin. Um, that's very important. I know that some people are using dry product. Um, in, in other words, it's part of the plant that is dry and they break it down to very fine powder. But if the fine powder still is not soluble, in other words, you cannot extract the ingredients from the dry part and make it soluble or suspendable, and they cannot penetrate into the skin, then you will not see the benefit. So why even bother putting them in? <coughs> okay, inhibit uh, versus reverse. Um, reverse means that you already have something and you want to reverse. Uh, the age products are there. Uh, what we try to do is reverse but why even to make them happen? So inhibit the formation of the age products. That's the idea situation. But most of the people at the age of 40, 50 and above already have the age product. So all that you want is to stop accumulating more. Okay, this is number one. Number two is try to get rid of what you already have. And what we found and other people in their studies, and I quoted you some papers of scientific studies, very well studies that show that if you apply the polyphenols over a long time and they are active enough, they are able to do, to inhibit and also to reverse um, the accumulation of H products. It's very important uh, to inhibit uh, the formation of H product. Uh, to connect to um, other aspect that you can realize is this. Um, you know that the blood vessels have to be flexible in order to accommodate the flow of the blood. Okay, so as the heart is pushing the blood out, so the, the vessels um, increase, the diameter increase, and then it's uh, getting down. Um, when there is accumulation of H product in the blood vessels and the blood vessels are losing this ability to be flexible, then it's a problem. It's a problem. So the whole science developed around the heart and the blood vessels. People are not really concerned about our skin so much. You can understand it. But if the blood vessels losing uh, flexibility, that's a big problem, okay? That's why we recommend, everybody recommends eat a lot of vegetables and fruits 
that contains polyphenols. So when you eat them, you break them in your mouth and you immediately digest them, you get them fresh, fresh, right? If you get them fresh, not from cans and not from dry, but fresh, then you enjoy the full benefit. But if you, uh, like you see, homogenize them in this mixer that I show in the video and you wait a week, then you lose the efficacy. Yeah, sometimes you can add vitamin C, you know, uh, orange juice or whatever, but it, you will see the discolor. In other words, it's already old, damaged, degraded. Um, encapsulation could help also in food, but we don't handle the food, but you understand why it could do that. So um, all the polyphenols needs to be encapsulated in order to fully benefit. And if you want to make good products, that's what you should th think about and consider it. If you want to make a product that people can say, wow, I want to use it again and again, because I see the benefit of this. So um, this is the typical questions that uh, people ask me during this webinar. Okay, natural solid butter. So I'm not familiar with uh, this specific butter. Uh, butter are not very good polyphenols. Polyphenols uh, can be found among those molecules that have conjugated double bond. In other words, yes and no double bond between carbons. Uh, polyphenols can be found in uh, vegetables, mostly colorful vegetables, chlorophyll, tea, green tea, um, and other um, green vegetables, red vegetables, yellow, and so on. Uh, those are active, excuse me, active polyphenols. And those that are not, are not. Coffee is a polyphenol. Tea is a polyphenol. But as you understand, it's already oxidized mostly. This is coffee. Coffee has other aspects, not just as a polyphenol, it's also accelerating blood flow, alertness because of that and so on. But uh, uh, vegetables is our major source and fruits. No butter and no uh, seeds, uh, not so much lentils, uh, only colorful tasteful vegetables and fruits. This is, this is the knowledge. And uh, this is what I know, and this is what uh, I'm taking from the books. So this is what we know. And we want to utilize these polyphenols the best way. And in order to use it the best way, we need, first of all, to extract them because we cannot put the whole fruits on the face, for example. So you need to extract them and you need immediately to encapsulate them so you can maintain them, retain the activity and use it whenever you want. So this is why uh, we are using uh, encapsulated polyphenols. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have any more questions, that will end the webinar. I would like to ask you uh, to fill up the questionnaire that will come afterwards and another questionnaire that will come tomorrow uh, we want to keep in touch with you. We would like to know um, how do you feel about attending webinars because this is the only way and probably the best way that we can share the knowledge and uh, give you the best service we could. Uh, we want you to make better products and more effective product. This is our goal. And I hope that uh, uh, with uh, this kind of webinars, we can expand the knowledge and allow you to uh, make better product and benefit the people that are going to buy the product because they need it. So um, we will ask you a question and we want to know uh, what is your opinion about this. Uh, if you have other questions, please visit the website www.salvona.com and uh, have a good day. Thank you very much for listening and enjoy the life, enjoy life. It's a good point. Thank you, bye-bye.